Hello, art friends. Welcome back. It is Lady Draws a Lot or Michelle Lodge, as I'm more commonly known. I am an illustrator and comic book artist, and I make videos about art supplies, subscription boxes, drawing, uh, kind of anything to do with art in that way. So here I am. <laughs> In the last video I made, I had a friend uh, who thought that the sweater that I was wearing in that video was a bathrobe and told me that I should maybe up my fashion game. So friend, this one's for you. You can take my white sweater over my dead body. As you know from my previous video about art snacks they had a sale back in December and I jumped on it, it was buy one get one free I got to choose my box but I have no idea what's in here because I have a terrible memory <laughs> so let's find out together uh, what's in this box and make some art with whatever happens to be in here with, um, with the exception of also some paper that I have because this stuff doesn't come with paper this box doesn't come with paper. So, without further ado, let's get creative. All right, here we go. All right, um, let me get this stuff sort of set out here and then we'll go over all these items. All right, so uh, let's start with this pencil here. This is a Black Wing and Art Snacks, I guess, collaborated and made this pencil. The eraser is pretty cool. I've not seen one like that before. So this looks really useful to, you know, get larger areas and then smaller areas if you need to. So this is nice. Probably, I, I don't know, it doesn't say the hardness of the lead inside, so we'll see. Then we have this Plum Chester paint marker. This is in a dark green color. So this, has this option to, you see the chisel tip on there. You could take this, turn it around, and then instead of having a chisel tip, you have that um, rounded tip on there. Pretty cool idea. I've not seen that before. The only thing is, you know, if you're working and you want to turn it around, I could see that being incredibly messy to change. Um, but doable and not that bad. As, not as bad as like that pilot pen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you saw my last video. All right. Um, this is the Kurataki Zig AI Liner Brush Pen. Beautiful tip on this pen. It says it does not bleed with alcohol or water-based um, paints or markers. So if that's true, I may have found a new best friend here. We're gonna have to see, but I'm excited to use this. And then this is something I've not seen before either, but this is pretty genius, honestly. So you've got two tones of red in one pencil. So use one tone of red, flip it, got another tone of red, flip it, got another tone of red. You get the idea. That is brilliant. I would love a whole set of these. Uh, so if it goes well, I'm definitely going to be um, looking that up, I think. We'll see. Now this is a really innovative design. Um, I've not seen a pencil sharpener like this before. This is pretty great. This has a larger pencil sharpener option, regular size pencil sharpener option, and then 
it has this, which is a sharpener for smaller leads like these that uh, you know you put in lead holders and then I have had to get separate pencil sharpeners for that size and it's just kind of a pain in the bottom because they're clunky and messy and they don't um, <laughs> close up like this does in in my experience at least i've not found one that does and if you have let me know but this if it sharpens well seems amazing so this is innovative wonderful design this is great so based on what's in here i'm gonna select the paper uh the arnheim paper this is in a warm white color. It's four by six in size, and it's a cotton paper. And it's got, uh, it's quite smooth, and it's pretty thick. So this is what I'll be working on today. Still don't know what I'm creating, but I'll know when I get there, I guess. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it.
ended up with my drawing. That was a fun sketch. Um, all right, so let's go through all the items here. Okay, so um, the pencil did well. Uh, if I had to guess, I would guess this is a B. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe a, that little B right there is either the company logo or it is a B. Because um, it was quite soft. Good for shading. Um, yeah, no issues. And I, I like that eraser. That turned out to be very handy. This is genius. Uh, these colors worked well together. Um, it was really cool to be able to just flip, flip when you want to change a, a tone of a color. Really cool. I would purchase this again. Um, the color saturation isn't quite like a soft Prisma color, I wouldn't say. I mean, it's hard to say with just this one pencil that I'm using, but um, it's still quite good. Uh, okay, and then we have this paint marker. Not too bad. I did change the tip on it um, from the rounded tip to the chisel. And that was messy, but not, not too bad. It's hard to complain after. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again that that pilot pen that was just terrible to change mm, but this wasn't too bad um, as long as you have something like a I don't know maybe a piece of cellophane would be perfect really I used a cloth um, so whatever you use it's, it's fine um, this this paint pen worked well I don't use these types of paint pens much, so it's hard for me to like compare it to other paint pens. I, I think it performed just fine. The color I liked. Um, it says it's a dark green. I mean, it kind of looks more like a teal to me. Um, let me know what you think. I, I really like it, but if I was going for a dark green, I'm not sure that would be it. Um, I, I'm not sure I would repurchase this again. I, I'm going to say no, because I just don't use these types of things and it is a little bit streaky. <sighs> now this. Guys, let's talk about this. This is beautiful. If you are an illustrator, if you like inking details get yourself one of these this is gorgeous this is a gorgeous pen uh i just love it i don't have anything bad to say about it i would absolutely repurchase it and actually put it i, I would put it in my um i don't know first thing that's coming to mind is hall of fame of art supplies absolutely beautiful highly recommend would buy again and this is great too it sharpened well no issues and it's a great design so all in all uh, the art snacks box did really well curating this um, the colors were a fun combination to use all these items did work well you know this is okay I'm um, jury's out, I guess, for me on this one because I don't use paint pens. So let me know if you use this and you like it or um, if you found it to be kind of streaky like I did. I don't know. Um, yeah, Art Snacks did a great job. I think, um, I think I might subscribe to Art Snacks because the two boxes that I got were, were pretty good. So yeah, I think I'll give them my subscription so uh okay repurchase um if i ever lost this or if my dog got to it or my kids you know whatever yes repurchase 
definitely, absolutely, 100% will repurchase this when it runs out. Um, this is going to be a no for me. And then, yes, I would repurchase this. I would like to, you know, maybe get a set of these and then see how it goes with the different colors. And then this pencil is great. No issues. Yes, I would repurchase that pencil. So, there we have it, guys. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.